So a few months ago, I had bought a computer desk from Ikea and I got the Linmon uh, tabletop for it. And it's gotten the job done. I feel like it can't support too much. I always feel like I have to be gentle with it because it seems to scratch up easily, even just like moving my keyboard back and forth. Leaves all these nasty marks on there. So I got another tabletop. I'm upgrading that today, but that's another video. In this video, I just wanted to talk about the pros and cons of the Linmon tabletop so you can decide if it's right for you or not. And then additionally, I wanted to go ahead and stress test it, see how much weight it can actually take compared to like, you know, something nicer that you could put like a thousand pounds on. So first off, this specific model is um, 23 and a half inches deep and 79 inches wide and that converts to about 60 centimeters deep and 200 centimeters wide. Uh, one of the many pros of this desktop is it's cheap and it's light and it only weighs 22 pounds so it's very easy for one person to pick up and flip around and put it on there whatever. Again one of the major downsides for me is just scratches. I'm very gentle and delicate with this and all I do is move my keyboard around sometimes I'll move monitors around and I get all these scuffs all over the place. The Linmon top is made out of a paper material, so it's kind of like cardboard inside from what I understand. It's set for like like where legs would go in. Um, there's actually press board or something else in there, so the screws have something to go into. So that's what makes it so light, but that's also what probably makes it not as sturdy as more expensive tabletops. Now, I did a little check when my stuff was still on the desk, seeing um, if there was any dip in the middle of the desktop or not. And there was just the slightest amount, but nothing that you would be concerned about. Um, when I got this, it did recommend that I put in another leg right in the middle here. And I never did just because I wanted more leg room when I slide in my chair, you know. But it has done fine for me without that, so. But when I first put this desk together, I did um, kind of lean on it a little bit to see how strong it was. And it felt like it flexed pretty easily, so I've always been kind of cautious to not like lean against it or sit on it or anything. So that's what we're gonna to test today, see how much weight this can actually take uh, with or without the leg in the middle. All right, so while we're at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and see if that leg actually does get in the way when you're in there with your chair. Hmm. I would say it doesn't really get in the way. The only thing I would say is I kind of bump my feet, but it's not in the way of my knees or anything. But I'm also 5'6", so I don't know if you're taller, if your knees are gonna be getting closer to that, but it's all right. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So if you have not made one of these before from Ikea, um, the drawers do not actually screw to the tabletop. It just kind of rests on top and you use these little gummies here um, for grip. It's been fine for me, but I've heard other people, you can get strips of Velcro and it'll hold it in a little more sturdy for you. All right, so let's get down to this. I want to see exactly how much weight it takes to break this guy so we know what our limit is, so uh, this will be fun. I just raided the garage for some heavy stuff and well, we're gonna test it out with that. All right, so first test, I just put my computer and my monitor in the middle here. Uh, my computer's kind of hefty. Uh, it weighs 27 pounds and the monitor weighs 14 pounds actually. So. so together that's 41 pounds and really usually you're gonna put your computer to the side. Maybe you'll have two monitors, so that'll be about 30 pounds and maybe even lean your arms on the desk a little bit. So I'd say for most normal uses, um, yeah, you're covered with this table, no problem. There is a very slight sag, but I believe that sag is from me just owning it. I don't know if it's really from this load right now or not. You're playing games, you're you're leaning on the desk a little bit. It's, it's no problem right now. There's This desk is sturdy enough. All right, so next test, we're gonna get a little more ridiculous with this. I got a toolbox that weighs 34 pounds and a floor jack that weighs 73 pounds. So together, those will make 107 pounds total weight. All right, so here's the toolbox right in the middle. And here is the jack. This desk with that leg is no problem at all. All right, so when I first built this desk, um, I was kind of leaning on it, you know, I wasn't sure how stable it was, and I decided I didn't want to sit on it. So I just weighed myself right now. Uh, the scale says I weigh 167 pounds. I, I got jeans on, my phone's in my pocket, you know. But let's go ahead and see with the leg. I don't know if you can see any, any sag. I wouldn't recommend that, but it held up. So now the real test, let's take that leg out 
and see how much this desktop can hold on its own. All right, so leg is back out. Let's do the 100 pound test one more time. So yeah, without a leg, I would not recommend that. I don't know how well you could see on camera, but there's a very obvious bow going on right now. All right, so now I'm gonna get on it without the middle leg support. I can, it feels like a trampoline right now. I can definitely feel it when I push down on it. It's, it's bouncing, but it's holding up. So about 170 pounds, it can hold up without a leg, although I would not recommend it. Let's go for 200 pounds. That, that does not feel safe. So yeah, although this is held up so far, there's a very apparent curve to this now. And that end piece is actually like flared up. It's, you can see the air between the cabinet and the tabletop. So although it's holding up, this isn't what this desk was made for, of course. <laughs> I can feel it flexing. It's pretty strong. Um, it's not breaking, but I'm definitely damaging it. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> my wife's like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> so there you go, I was very impressed with this tabletop, but a grown man jumping on it, uh, it will not do that. So yeah, as we can see, these paper fill tabletops are actually filled with it just looks like cardboard. It's crazy to see that in there, but I guess this honeycomb shape um, is pretty strong as proven by my silly tests. But um, as we can see on the back, this is where the middle leg was mounted and wherever the legs are mounted on the sides or in the middle, um, there's, actually, there's actually particle board there. So it has something to screw into. But yeah, it's just like that all the way in there so yeah that's really cool that you know somebody designed that and it works so well really my only complaint for that tabletop was how easy it was to scratch it uh overall normal uses it's perfect it's fine for most applications i just wanted to upgrade to something that looked a little different looked a little more like natural wood kind of look uh, uh, yeah so there is my extensive review and stress test and durability test and whatever um of this tabletop. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're able to learn something from it and I hope it helps you figure out what desk you're gonna build or buy or whatever you're gonna do. So that's it. Please be sure to leave a like and I enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you guys.